Hello, everyone. How are we all doing today? Alrighty, welcome back to another episode of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. So, it's been a few days between uh, our last episode. I did some more changes to my character's build and everything. Not that damn horse, no, go away. Uh, long story short, I kind of tweaked things out a bit. And uh, I managed to squeeze in um, cross-blooded sorcerer, so that way I can get myself uh, a nice new... Where is it at? I have a ability now that gives me five damage reduction. That's going to stack with some stuff later, so I think in the future I'll be looking at like... Um, I want to say like 20 damage reduction, unless it's um, unless it's like... What was it? I, I I think unless it's like uh wait a uh, oh I'm sorry we have ten damage reduction, but unless it's I think magic or cold, this one's magic but this one is just straight dr five so we got ten right now. Later on we'll end up getting a ten more and that'll bump us up to twenty uh, once we go lich that is. Uh, spoilers lich has some very OP stuff. Um, other than that being a cross-blooded sorcerer, that does limit my spellbook quite a bit. Um, the Blood Rager here, don't worry about that, I think I explained it last time. That's basically, um, gonna allow me to cast in full plate for now. Hopefully they don't, uh, patch that out anytime soon. I don't have a lot of magic. Uh, I'm pretty much just gonna be magic missiling and casting shield on myself and then chucking out fears and rave and fear events from time to time. But mostly I'm just gonna be charging into combat and wrecking things with my horse. Uh, for now, but then we'll just be... This is basically the starter of my Death Knight build, and we're already going into Dragon Disciple, because half of our cross-blooded sorcerer is Dragon, uh, for some bonus stats, and then once we're done with that, we're going to go into Eldritch Knight. It's going to be fun. Um, if you notice right here, we still got good old Thonk. He's alive and well. Just alive and kicking. He's doing good. Um, actually, I don't think I took Boon Companion on... Windwalk yet, did I? Let me see. Did I get Boon Companion on her yet? Did I completely forget to get Boon Companion? No, I did. Okay, just... I don't know, Thonk seems a little bit weaker than he was before. Still got plenty of armor... Yeah, I don't know what's up with that. He's the same kind of pet. He's a hunter pet and everything. Not sure. Yeah, he's only level 5. Is Windwog only level 5? Well, she's level 6. I'm not sure about that, but for some reason Thonk's a little bit weaker right now. Um, Hopefully he'll level up soon. Uh, we also have Whistler here. He's a wolf. He's going to be uh, Sela's wolf. I respect her a little bit. Gave her some Oracle Dip. And also just... Um, Give her two weapon fighting. We're gonna give her shield bash. Uh, eventually, I'm probably gonna maybe make her a rebooter for some party buffs. Uh, let's see. Who else did we respect a bit? Ember touched her up a bit. Um, gave her cackle this time around. I'm not sure if I did give her give her cackle originally, but she has it now. Uh, she's gonna be throwing out slumbers and evil eyes with cackles till the cows come home with the money casting and pick some better spells for her. Uh, I gave her Metamagic Selective Spell, and that's going to be for some of her AoEs, um, but we'll, we'll be able to mess with that later. Uh, what else did we do here? Couldn't mess with Soso yet for some reason. I'll, I'll have to get into him later. Uh, Wolchif. Right now he's going straight Eldritch Scoundrel. Beforehand I was starting to go Arcane Trickster for him, but I'm probably going to have him go maybe Eldritch Knight later. If not... Uh, maybe Alchemist, I think. Uh, Vivisectionist, I believe. Just some stuff that'll be good for his sneak attack damage and a little more survivability. Biggest change is Windwalk. Now she's wielding uh, Throne Axes. Once I get her two weapon fighting, she'll be able to use two of them to chuck two every turn. Um, it's a little less damage when she's using the bow, but she's a little tankier now with this shield. And as long as she's got medium armor, she's also got faster movement speed, too. So she can get in range really quick. Oh, it's because I made him a mad dog. Oh. 
Maybe for some reason the mad dogs are a bit weaker? I'm not sure. No, I think I think we're gonna go respec that on camera real quick. Um some stuff did happen off camera. He didn't miss much. It was basically Ember healed a soldier and said some I nice words to I him. Uh, there's been an elf going around the camp and leaving whenever it, it catches me talking to anybody. Uh, yeah, Wendelog. So we're gonna do a couple levels into Wendelog's um, fighter, about four levels, because that will give Wendelog some good stats. Fact, uh, I think I'm gonna get, uh, what is it, Hunter? Was it just basic Hunter, I believe? Or, hmm, could go... Yeah, we could just do basic Hunter. Like last time. We're just gonna keep pumping up stats. There you go. This is just so she can get the damn pet. Ceratops. And then for these spells, we'll just grab like Long Strider. Actually, we'll get Magic Fang and then like Acid Maw or something like that. Uh, and then we'll just go with uh, two more levels of fighter, and then we'll finish off with a level of, uh, I think it's uh, cultist, cult leader, something like that. I've, I've been wanting to do some stuff with Window Og where uh, she has like a uh, cult leader with her and her spell focus. So I think that would just be fun to do. Uh, wait, wait, can we get two weapon fighting yet? Yeah, we can. We'll get that before we get focus on um, before we get weapon focus throw axes. Actually, we probably. Oh no, I want to get. So we grab deadly aim, right? Yeah, I want to get rapid shock as well. And then we'll get Cult Leader. Or Priest. I haven't messed around with War Priest at all, so this is a new thing for me. It's uh, interesting how they work. There we go. Let's pump those up. So there's Spontaneous Casters. They have Spontaneous Inflict. They have Channel Negative Energy, all that fun stuff. But they also get these Blessings they can do. So I'm, for her, I'm going to grab Strength and Trickery. That's going to make her even more tankier. And then for her mythic ability, we'll just get up on the casting so she can cast a little more stuff. Click that, and... She is, she's a prepared caster, I believe, yeah. So we're probably going to have to rest again, sadly. Um, take a couple casts of Doom, inflict Doom. And we'll just take, uh... Like, I don't know. Maybe... Just four inflict wounds. For now. Either that or uh Yeah, I guess we could do that. How about we do three and three? I wish you could throw those out there. Uh and then for Hunter, yeah, these will be just normal spontaneous casting stuff. Uh for her gear. Just got everything equipped. Nice. And you really notice it not having that weapon focus. And so she's foreign fighter that will give her access to weapon specialization later. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and buy her a, another an IU. Another axe. Uh, let's see, yeah, put it in passive. Where did it go? There it is. Another one of those. Oh, and I already have one in my inventory. Dang, I'm dumb. There you go. 
So for right now, I'll probably want to turn off maybe Deadly Aim and Rapid Shot. I'm not sure. We might, um... Yeah, let's do this. I want to do this. Put that on there. She gets two attacks, though. Which is nice. She's base attack bonus six right now. As long as, uh, well, the medium armor thing doesn't matter anymore since she went mad dog. Alright, let's level up Thonk. Nope, not Bully. Bulwark. And we're gonna give him, uh, let's see. It's power attack? We're gonna do power attack, toughness, and core focus. Uh, let's talk this, like, I think, the 15th? Yeah, I'll just go with that. Then once we're done with Thonk here, we'll, uh, take a brief look around the camp, talk to some people, and, uh, get started on our quest in here. But I know Thonk is gonna get targeted by a lot of stuff, so I kinda wanna make sure that he can at least take some hits. I am expecting the wolf to die, though. I'm gonna give him one int, so that way he can start picking up some, um... Uh, some tactics, some team tactics. I'm gonna start rolling into team tactics for a couple of my melee people eventually. Uh, let's do that. You wanna make sure you get mobility to three, so you can fight defensively. And then we're gonna get, uh, toughness. There it is. Got a nice HP boost. And he should be... No, he's still level 5. Well, I'm I'm not really sure what's up with that. But at least we have animal focus now, so... That'll help him out with his strength. Hell, we could even make him more tankier with, um... Bear focus. Oh, yeah. I did uh, talk to Walser Garms earlier, too. He, uh... Asked me for some more materials for the soldiers? I said yes. Uh, can't talk to Windowlog right now for some reason. Let's see if Soso... There he is. He's painting in the sky. Okay. Oh, we gotta talk to Soso about what happened. Soso is painting a cleric in his young acolyte. He skillfully conveys the contrast between wise maturity and servant youth also expressing the deep faith that unites the pair. So he'll notice you and lowers his brush. Commander. Good afternoon, Commander. How can I help you? Alright, tell me about yourself. Uh... Wait, what? Did we already talk to him about all this stuff? Uh, let's see. Let's see, if you want to pencil sketches, you're going to put any to the soldiers to the scars. Something like an army of angels. I think it's a crap man. Time loop? Yeah, I know. <laughs> What's up, man? Uh, is it working in Christ? Is that a servant deity? Interesting to fate. Yeah, we, we did talk to him about all this. Oh, no, no, we didn't talk to him about his brother Trevor. After my brother took his vows, I was a pal ordained as a paladin of Shailene. He departed for the crusade. He wrote home often about everything we s he saw, his battles, the people he helped from his letters. I learned that he had joined the Eagle Watch in Canabras. But soon his letters became infrequent, and then they stopped altogether. We feared news of his death, but silence was our only answer. Not a word from him, or from his commander, or his brothers in arms. Nothing. In the end, I couldn't wait any longer, and I came here myself to find Trevor, if he's still alive. Or his grave, if he should have perished. But, my brother seems to have vanished. I tried asking the other paladins, but they refused to tell me. And it's very much like they're trying to avoid the need to lie. I sent an official request to their order's command. Still, I wait in vain for an answer. I joined the local church of Shailin, hoping to find out the truth one day. But the city was attacked by demons. Um, let's see... 
Do you show commendable presence in the face of such trouble? Let you give up the search and leave. Not foolish. With your brother out of the way, you sit at home and so have a fortune. Your brother was preparing to become a paladin. Right? Do you learn some art too? And it's just too lawful. Yes, persistence. The clerk's eyes stare at the distance. You know, I got that from my brother. Trevor never Trevor never gave up. He had to wait. He waited. If he had to use force, he did. When he fell, he always got up and got me up too. Though I was so much weaker than that. I can never betray everything he taught me. Uh I just got the court of Galfrey. Uh I remember we talked to him about this as well. Uh, how'd you always manage to look like you're on the way to a tea party and not a battle? Yeah, we, we talked to him about this stuff as well. Um, let's just go with Lawful on this one. Let's see. Guard is touching. Oh no, I think I might have accidentally flirted with him. Right, tell me about your brother. Trevor was always my hero ever since we were children. I was a coward, always telling petty lies, always running away from danger. Trevor always ran toward it. He had this saying, an army stands until peace comes, a lie stands between the uh, until the truth comes out. He never lied, never let injustice pass, never. Cleric's voice trembles and breaks when he shakes his head. He was eight when he said he was going to be a paladin, and he always went toward that goal, day after day, never looking back. And the day he went off to fight, I thought, this is it. The war will finally end. Trevor will defeat all the demons and close the world room, but... So seal gestures help us. Thank you for talking to me. My pleasure. We do it my way. And he's just going back to painting now. Uh Well let's see, can we respect Social now? Nope. For some reason we can't respect him. I don't know why. Uh got anything new, Camilla? Nope. Uh how about you, Horgus? You've been giving me gifts. Nope. Okay. I don't think anybody has anything new to say right now. So, we're going to rest up again. So, Windowog has spells. And hopefully, the Hell Knights that we need to save aren't dead. People call you a freak. I don't know what that's like. I was the most desirable woman in my tribe. But I do know what it's like to have to hide your rage. You don't have to pretend with me. They call me a freak, but they're really just scared because I'm different. How can I be angry at people who are scared? Oh, Amber. Alrighty. We ought to save. Oh, here's that mysterious help again. A wounded elf, huh? Well, there were lots of wounded in Canavras. Who wounded him? In what way? And he appears relaxed, even nonchalant, but her eyes gleam attentively in her hands, as if by coincidence are resting on her belt next to her weapon. Mysterious elf, this is the one that's been going around the camp out talking to me. How should I know? It must have been demons. If the wound was serious, I doubt he was fully recovered from it. Maybe if you point me towards a healer, I could. Yeah, she really does. Because Ember, even though she's an elf, she's supposed to be like really young. Although she's probably like 70 years old, or maybe even like 60 or something like that. At least 40. But she's still supposed to be like a teenage elf. And elves are supposed to live for like hundreds and hundreds of years. Uh, Storyteller. Ooh, we haven't talked to Storyteller in a while. I wonder where he's at. He's, he's in the camp somewhere. We gotta find him and talk to him. Before we head out. Right, damn it. Let's see. Whoa, what the fuck? An aligning fast motion, and Nivia knocks something from the woman's hand in an amulet that seemingly appeared out of nowhere. Falls to the ground and disappears in a flash of magic. What's the rush, sweetheart? Stay alive. Stay a while. The commander and me, we've got a couple questions for you. Trust the elf. You won't escape this time. Who are you and why are you hiding your face? Here, a heavy sigh coming from another shawl. Fine, you've got me. We'll talk, but not here. Send me somewhere away from prying on us. She's all yours, commander. I caught her. I handed her over. And now, as they say, I wash my hands of the whole affair. Oh yeah, Queen Galfi wants to talk to me too. Uh, what do you want from me, soldier? Um, I'm sorry, my horse is in the way. In an exacerbated gesture, she rips the... That's that's an earth element in the background, by the way. Don't worry about him. Uh, she rips the half-elf mask off her face and you see her black skin and crimson eyes. Oh, it's Galessa. 
the elephant men in Canabras. Why'd you follow my army? To find someone. Quizzle lets out a re resigned huff. His masters want me dead, which means I will die sooner or later. After a pause, she narrows her eyes and spits out. That doesn't mean I'll lie down and accept my fate. I am no lamb to the slaughter. No one be waiting for a kindly execution to come for me, knife in hand, never again. Are you a spy? Her scarlet eyes flash defiantly and she mutters through her teeth. I'm not going to hide it. I have come here to commit a violent and bloody act, but I do not serve the demons and I won't do you or your forces any harm. Don't play coy. Give me details. What? Frowning skeptically, she gives you an appraising look. What will you do with my story? Take it into account and pass your judgment? Kill me if you deem me uh, reprobate? Help the poor girl if you don't? Well, I haven't asked for help, and your authority to judge me seems rather dubious. Perception check failed. Oh. Well, fuck. No, let's, let's reload that. Save scumming. Oh, yeah. We're save scumming. I didn't even know that was a perception check. What the fuck? It didn't say perception check. Ah, uh, let's see. I'm the commander of the crusade. Let's see. Why'd you follow my army? You serve the demons, Enamora's minions, yada yada yada. Okay, so this is all just... I know who you are, you're close to the cults of Discari. Yeah, see? Don't play coy with me, I need details, and there's no perception check thing here. What is the perception check for this? Fucking DC of 23? Oh god. And it's going after my... Oh, I have plus 12. Okay, no, I can take that. I just need to roll an 11 or higher. Yep, alright. We're gonna save scum this. Oh, the, the mod check? Did that pop up on the, uh... On the stream, too? I don't think it did. I wasn't looking. I rolled a- I rolled a goddamn three. Thunk. Yep. Okay, you spy. Good point. Oh my god. I rolled a seven. This is why I hate this game. I'm rolling like... Turbo low, and my skill is 12. I wouldn't be mad if I was rolling 10s. Da, 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 da. 11 or higher, let's go. Oh, come on, what do we get now? A ten. <laughs> I had to say it. I had to say it. <laughs> okay, game. Give me an eleven, please. It's a D fucking twenty. It. I, I, sometimes I feel like this game has weighted dice. It always rolls you uh, low. It's just percentage wise. Unless you're stacking your stuff, it's always going to roll super low. I get that it's like 50 50, uh, you know, 10 or 20. There we go. What I roll this time? 14. See? Uh, she clear she's clearly lying to you, but it doesn't feel like the guile of someone plotting a crime. There was a slight hint. How did it look to her eyes to make her seem more like prey than a hunter? I'll leave you be. Uh, she shrugs casually as if her fate had not been hanging in the balance just a moment ago. How nice of your shoulder, soldier. Uh, let's see. Yep, yeah, uh-huh. Yep, yeah, so you, that's really all you have going on? Okay, I should go. Like it tells me it's time I'm leaving to It's dangerous to stay here for a while, soldier. Okay. Well, I thought we would get some more info out of that.
Where now? Where is the guy? Uh, where's where's Galfria? I'm gone. Is Galfria on the map anywhere? Oh, yep. Yeah, okay. We also need to go talk to um, storyteller. I think he's in one of the tents. He might be in that tent. I don't know. This is Nura's tent. She's one of the uh, council people. From Galfrey's uh, court. Hi, hey, Commander. How can I help? There's so much I can do. Just ask. Nura looks at you with eyes filled with enthusiasm. She's holding a notebook of Traveler's Inkle. You've probably heard about the wound I have, the one that sometimes opens on my chest. Can you perhaps tell me if it's some kind of demonic curse? Yes, indeed. I have been told of your affliction. There appears at the center of your chest. Can you will the wound to open? No? That's a shame. What can you tell me about the wound, then? Well, it's difficult to say. I know of blades that leave never healing cuts, poisons that stop wounds from healing. I've heard of witches' curses that are rewarded with eternal wounds. But wounds that seem to reopen and heal over and over. Hmm. Perhaps you know of other cases like this. Hmm, let me think. In 4671, a Mandevian army corporal and all of his bones and cartilage turned to glass. In 4700, a scribe in Canabras had all her skin simply come away uh, like she'd been boiled. And in 4638, oh, you don't happen to have insects crawling over you? Locusts? No? Rats? Perhaps. Hmm? Too bad. Nero looks at you with genuine regret. Do you think it's dangerous? It's most, it most likely is dangerous, but you are under the protection of Iomide, Commander. She granted you with the power, as they say. Surely the Inheritor cannot leave you to face this alone. Have you perhaps noticed that the wound opens at moments when you waver in your fate? Perhaps it's triggered by doubt. Frowning, Nero looks at you with sincere concern. All right, thanks. Uh, tell me about yourself. Oh my, I can tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, where are you from? Isger, a small piece of land that probably calls itself a country, though it hasn't been independent for a single day in all the centuries it's existed. They have a lot of national pride, but all of it's borrowed. Always looking for the great day when they can at least be free from the rule of uh, Chilix. Chilix is pretty nasty from what I hear. Infernal Chilix remains one of the most powerful military nations in the inner sea region. Uh, it's control of the Arch of Eridan, a passage between the inner sea and the Arcadian Ocean. Also gives it a vital role in much of the region's trade. Nevertheless, as important as the nation may be today, it pales in comparison to the former imperial glories. Today, uh, Chilix suffers from extreme diabolism and tyranny, which prevented from truly achieving its full potential. Internal observers, including the new nobility of Chilix, firmly believe that Asmodeus and Hell serve Chilix and assist in maintaining the, necessary, the power necessary for Chilix to assume its rightful role among the leading nations of the inner sea. They worship Asmodeus, who is basically Satan in Pathfinder lore. Uh, he's probably one of the oldest living gods, too. So yeah, kind of crazy. Uh, the Asgiri love talking politics. Two of them start uh, start bargaining over beats at the market. They can be sure that they'll end up arguing about whether an independent Isgur will be a monarchy or a republic. I've always found it funny to listen to. And a little disgusting. You see, there are a lot of us halflings in the country, uh, but very few are citizens. Most are slaves. I was lucky. I've always been clever, ever since I was little. So they sent me to school instead of making me do the grunt work. They taught me to count and write. I was sold as a secretary to Lord Axelor Trespot. He's the one I left Isgur with. Never to return, I hope. How'd you come to serve Queen Galfrey then? I was a slave of Lord at uh, Trezbot in Isgur, my homeland. Oh, what a man he was. He towered over his fellows like a rock over a garbage heap. A true hero. He bought me a simp uh, he bought me as a simple secretary, but he made me learn the history of the world and all of it, one volume after another. He hired tutors for me, he even sent me to meet prominent historians. He didn't want a simple slave, but a slave with an impeccable education. Lord Trezbot was going on a crusade. He firmly believed that the servants of the good gods were meek, and only a follower of Asmodeus could stand against the demon invasion. It's just a little background on Asmodeus here. Also known as the King of Hell, Master of Witches, and the Prince of Law, is the most powerful of the nine archdevils that inhabit Hell. And devils are different than demons. Demons are more uh, outsider, extra planar, you know, 
alien almost type things. Uh, whereas in hell, there are devils, which are basically fallen angels as far as Pathfinder is concerned. Um, or spawns of, you know, devils. And the only one of hell's rulers to claim full divinity is he who is credited with penning the contract of creation in which his followers believe is hidden uh, is hidden the means for their patrons eventual rise to supremacy. Let's see, Asmodeus could stand against the demon invasion. He took me along as a secretary, a historian, and most importantly, he entrusted me with recording his glorious story for future generations. So he took a tiny girl slave with him. Well, I mean a halfling slave with him. Hmm. Yes, I'm sure that's all he did, was just use her as a historian. Since she was his slave. Surely nothing else happened. <clears throat> In this crusade, Lord Tresbot performed many brave feats, but even he could not stand against the world wound alone. In his final battle with the demons, when my lord realized he was doomed, his final act was to cover my retreat so that I could tell the world wound of his great deeds. Some, uh, so I could tell the world, sorry, not world wound of his great deeds. Some people have said that he did was uh, what he did was not heroic, just an arrogant moron, puffing himself up one last time. But I say, curse those tongues. My difficult journey ended in Mendev, where I found my freedom. Where I published Lord Tresbot's biography, and I don't want to boast, but eh, who am I kidding? Of course I do. The book sold in great numbers and made me rather famous for a time. That's what brought me to, queen, to the Queen's attention. She invited me to her court. After all, she was curious about my deceased lord, and she was in great need of an expert on the history of the world wound. I hope you find me useful as well. So, you're not just a historian, but a writer too? Will you write a book about my crusade, then? <laughs> Why not? As soon as we finish off the demons, I'll get right to it. Just take care that, that you don't end up like Lord Trespot. Do you worship any deities? She makes a few... Uh, wry face. When I was a slave in Isker, they would beat me with a stick to force me into believing as Modius. They hit me and said it was for my own good. Ever since then, I don't like Tempest. I realize there are different gods, like Dresna, Arcaden, who teach goodness and freedom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but it's just, as soon as I smell, uh, frankincense? What the hell? Is that like, mushed together incense? I see the slave driver's stick. Maybe one day I'll be able to turn to a deity without cringing from a blow for not being, uh, reverent enough. But for now, for now I let others pray for me. Uh, oh, perception check failed, huh? Well, you know what? Wow. Really? I rolled a four, and that was a DC of 20. Ah, thank you. Tell me about the world wounds. Oh, God. That's a lot of information. Okay, tell me about Sarkacorus. It was an unforgiving country, inhabited by numerous tribes of killed barbarians. Imagine Numeria without the Metal Mountains, or the realm of the Mammoth Lords, but with milder climate. That's Sarkacorus. The realm of the Mammoth Lords is where the barbarians are. And Numeria is also another place where there's a lot of barbarians and uh right now but i believe there used to be like an ancient civilization there like high-tech stuff um that's our chorus the country was ruled by priests of forgotten deities and shamans uh it's said that even back then before the world wound the boundary between worlds was especially thin in this region since ancient times the scary had his claws sunk deep in the middle uh, in the minds of the locals his cults thrived there for many centuries eridan tried to stamp them out but in the end of course he passed away how did the world wound come to be it happened the year Aerdon died, 4606, a little over a century ago. No one knows if the timing was uh, coincidental or if there's some connection with Aerdon's death. But I'll tell you what we do know. The priests and shamans who ruled Sarkoros hated arcane magic, and all who practiced it, the wizards and sorcerers were driven from the land, or worse, or their prisons held a witch named Arlu Borlish. You know nothing about her besides her name and, of course, the atrocity she committed. By some unknown method, she managed to harness the terrible power of the demon lord Discari. Together, they tore open the barrier between worlds, opening rift to the abyss in the very middle of their course. The world wounds slowly but mercilessly expanded, devouring more and more land. In a matter of years, their course was a memory. Let's see. After a moment of silence, Nura adds softly, "Sometimes I think, what did they do to Arlu in that prison? Just imagine, she was ready to give herself to the abyss. If only the if only the demons might devour her torturers along with her." To imagine such hatred, it terrifies me. It's interesting that shamans and druids and all that kind of stuff um, despised arcane spellcasters because they still cast magic. 
they're still magic casters. Shamans and druids and all that kind of stuff. Just they get their magic from either spirits or from worshiping gods. It, I, I don't know. It's always interested me how there's different sources of magic in the games. That's a it's a cool fantasy. All right, tell me about the first crusade then. It began in 4622. Yes, it took the church and the secular authorities nearly two decades and hundreds of thousands of lives before they decided to take action. In the meantime, Sarkoris was the only is only supported by handfuls of volunteers. By the time the crusade began, the demons had already invaded Mendev. The crusaders pushed them back in what must have seemed a total triumph at the time, the forces of good easily crushing the demons on all fronts. They erected Dresden on the lands, they conquered an indestructible fortress in the capital of the Crusader Nova. In 4630, eight years after it began, the first crusade was declared victorious. It was the first triumph of the crusaders, and unfortunately the last. So a lot like Jerusalem, huh? Uh, let's see, tell me about the second crusade. In 4638, the world wound suddenly started expanding and a new wave of demons appeared. The crusaders were all but delighted. Last time, they routed the forces of the abyss and they welcomed another chance to prove themselves. This time, everything was different. Instead of scattered gangs, they faced a large and organized army. Dresden was besieged and the crusaders lost all the lands they'd won back before. They had to retreat and all the remainder of Sarkoris was left to the demons. But while the monsters were dev devouring the unprotected lands, the crusaders erected a chin of war or chain of ward stones along the border of, uh, with the world wound. We have Iomade and her all to thank for their help. It was the second crusade's only victory, but it halted the world wind's growth. The catastrophe had become a stalemate at the cost of tremendous sacrifice. All right, tell me about the third crusade. After 50 years, about 50 years after the opening of the world wound, Ascari found an ally. Baphomet entered the war. A cunning, insidious demon lord who prefers deception to open conquest. He sets his enemies against each other and lures the virtuous onto the path of wickedness. Traitors appeared among the crusaders, secret agents of his cult. Baphomet is a minotaur, I believe. Demon lord of beasts, labyrinths, and minotaurs. He was the first and greatest minotaur. Yeah, that's right. He was, he's, uh, he was in that labyrinth. And then Descari is the bug lord. So we got a giant minotaur and a bug dude leading this the uh, demons in this crusade. For a time, no one suspected a thing. Even as they watched helplessly as the crusader movement fell to ruin, where once Valor proudly stood, now greed and dumb cruelty reigned, and outrage was drowned in apathy. In 4665, the church announced a new crusade, hoping to boast, boost morale. They didn't succeed, to put it mildly. Some fought the demons in earnest, and for a time, they even dared hope to retake Dresden. The Third Crusade would be remembered as a witch hunt, in every sense. Inquisitors hoped to purge any cultists from the ranks of fighters, and instead they got a barrage of uh, denunciations, widespread suspicion, and innocent victims. It sometimes happened that two orders would denounce each other as traitors and wipe each other out, much to the demon's delight. Holy shit, so just a whole lot of infighting. Just three years later, in 4668, the church put the disgrace to an end. Of all the Crusades, that one was the least glorious. And the fourth one? Of course, the demons had no intention of sitting quietly caged behind the ward stone. They kept attacking Canabras, trying to reach the stone and destroy it, or it just scratched the surface. Or, if even that was impossible, they foul it. The crusaders drove the demons away from the city again and again. The fourth crusade would last for 15 years, an exhausting study of positional warfare. The demons attacked, and they were pushed back. The crusaders went on the offensive, but were forced to retreat. And all the while, the losses were tremendous. The Fourth Crusade's only achievement was that they didn't let a single ward stone fall. They didn't retake a sliver of land to say nothing of Dresden. So many lives just to maintain the stalemate. You can imagine how that affect morale. Alright, thank you. I should go. Damn. How long do dwarves live? It's been like a hundred years. Almost a hundred years since Dresden fell. And Staunton is still kicking, huh? Where the hell is Storyteller at? Uh, I bet you he's in... Probably the Field Medic Tent. Unless he's around here somewhere. We're seeing recruits in Campman. Oh yeah, we should probably talk to Sila about what happened with her we friends. Celia, your friends are dumb. 
Zilla looks sad and pensive. It's good to see you. Get this. Janna, the one who ran away when we were attacked by demons, never went back to her unit. She was seen running towards Numeria. Looks like she deserted. Oh, wow. Anyway, that's not what I wanted to talk about. Or, not the only thing, since our raid on the Hound's Heart camp. I've had the sinking feeling that I made a mistake. Dragging you into this. I mean, I should have known that a raid along the edge of the world wouldn't, wouldn't be so easy. But mostly, I was worried about a lot of people. About Janna, who lost her nerve and abandoned her friends. About Curl. I knew he was a thief, but I really thought he'd turn over a new leaf and deserved a little compassion and trust. And Elon, I thought we were kindred spirits, friends, thick and thin. But it looks like I was wrong about him, too. Taylor looks at you closely, waiting for your answer. You definitely made a lot of mistakes. You can't go on blind trust, especially when it comes to people who've slipped up in the past. Like that thief, Curl. Your ideals were mistaken from the start. Maybe now you'll see that people are weak and vicious creatures. It's pointless to try to reform them. They only fit to be controlled. I like that. We'll do that. You're an amazing person here. I feel a certain fortitude in you, a strength of will. Even when you say something I can never agree with. She sighs. Thanks for listening to my grumbling and for helping me get to the bottom of this. I'm not going to leave things as they stand. If I get the chance, I'll track down Janna and see if I can talk some sense into her and find out why Curl did what he did. I can't stop thinking about what happened uh, or what Elin told, told me in the end. Yes, there we go. I really have become more powerful than paladins who are far more experienced and selfless than me. There's something not right about it. A servant of Iomade should gain their powers through dedicated personal effort. It's the only way to make sure they'll use the power for good. Our journey so far, it's all wrong. And it means I need to be three times as hard on myself now. Uh huh. Well, we'll see how that comes out for you. Uh. Let's see a storyteller in here? Oh, wait, no. I think Storyteller left after I talked to him. This is the guy, uh... Found Kalissa spying on my camp. They should be on the lookout for her accomplices. Her demonic masters must have sent her to plot against you. And since she's already made her way into the camp, she will strike soon. I hope you weren't as merciful with her this time. Uh, she's left alive and unharmed. I'll let her go. She's not a threat to the Crusaders. Her <laughs> outside burst from his list, and she has deceived you once more. Even other elves that look like her. Uh, let's see. Boomy shadow crossed his face. He ran silent for a while and says reluctantly. A few years ago, a sect of demon worshippers was uncovered in Kionan. They were followers of Skari, who had been brought together by his priestess, Anamora. Naturally, as soon as the truth was revealed, the hunt for these evil zealots was called. They were all marked with the same brand of darkness as their leader, the wicked Kalissa. The sect was soon destroyed, but some of the cultists managed to escape. I pursued them in order to eradicate their evil roots and branch. Sighing heavily, his lips curls an expression of bitterness. It is a great shame that the children of a noble nation have besmirched themselves with this taint. I would be very grateful if this confession was kept between us. Hmm. I don't know. Something's still off, because if Kalesa was up to something, you know, truly evil, she wouldn't be as awkward as she is now with it. That's right. Okay, so Storyteller's not here. He left after we talked to him. Erebeth, anything new from you? Nope. Okay, cool. Uh, Ember, anything new from you? Do the soldiers still rely on you for help, Ember? Even more than before, they come to me, ask me questions, wanting advice. I don't think I ever say anything clever, but sometimes it helps me. That's what matters, right? Yep, yeah, sure. Just don't let them take a lot of advantage of you, Ember. If you know what I mean. Uh, Queen Godfrey. Follow if you dare. I like how the Queen is probably just like, I called for you two days ago, and I'm like, yep, I'm busy. You know, Knight Commander and everything. I'm off. Queen Godfrey nods to you cordially. Her armor is plain and unadorned. As promised, I entertained the ranks. I entered the ranks incognito, along with a few bodyguards. I have introduced myself as Kit Rain, an old friend of yours. I am a knight of a minor order, the Green Crows. We shall see how long it takes Nivia to sniff me out. Why did you decide to join the Crusades after all? Because I have a, I have a curious mind, and I am quite unable to sit and do nothing for long. 
queen smiles, but then grows serious. You ask a difficult question. I must remain as safe as possible. My death or abduction would but so chaos among our forces. However, I'm not only a queen, I'm also a paladin of Iomedae. It's not in my nature to sit in a place with my sword sheath. In a manner of speaking, your request is simply a convenient excuse for me to be where I belong. You're sitting against the demon hordes. Besides, I'm curious to see my new knight commander in action. I have a question for you as well. Why did you wish me to join on the crusade? Uh... Let's see. Your presence will boost the soldiers' morale. I'm glad to have the glorious crusader queen at my side. I want to know you better. Surely you know how intriguing you are. Fair... It is fair for you to send us to our deaths while you are safe in the castle. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to know you better. Enough, Commander, she thinks across with a smile. Everything that could possibly be known about me has been written in the Chronicles and notarized. May I ask you a personal question? I've learned so much about Queen Galfrey from Chronicles and Legends, but what about the other Queen Galfrey, the one that the historians and bards cannot see? The Queen smiles faintly. That Galfrey is an old woman, weighed down by a great burden, but she has not lost her passion. She will make the feathers fly when the time comes. Uh, look forward to working closely with you. Who knows? Maybe feathers won't be the only things flying. Yeah, let's do that. I look forward to working closely with you. Who knows? Maybe feathers won't be the only thing flying. Galfrey arches a brow. First, you try to kiss my hand, and now you lower yourself to clums to a clumsy innuendo. I'm beginning to understand the kind of person my night commander truly is. Do you really think that you're the first person to attempt to charm me with such words? You're not. If you want to impress me, you'll need to do better than that. Oof. Queen likes to play hard to get. How does it feel, living for so long, beyond all natural limits? You're over a hundred years old, my queen, are you not? Still, you sound like a prosecutor at a trial. Why allow yourself what others cannot have? Against all natural law. That's what I hear in your question. The queen frowns, but rulers benefit from criticism, do they not? I shall answer thus. The decision to prolong my life was not mine. It was the decision of the Church of Biomedae. The sun orchid elixirs have been paid for by the church. The priest demanded that I was needed in these dark times, both as a ruler and a chosen pallet in the Biomedae. I accept their decision, and the great responsibility is entails. Imagine having a terrible fucking president for a hundred goddamn years. Sure, yeah, she is a queen. I can't exactly just be like, hey, you want to bang? <laughs> or no, no, like, uh, Mass Effect. We'll bang, okay? <laughs> Why did you entrust me with Darren? Queen smiles. I saw a wonderful opportunity to teach the court a lesson and just couldn't resist. Honestly, I expect you to dismiss him forthwith. The Count would have been forced to return to a court laughingstock. It would have been truly a sobering experience. There is nothing more disgraceful for an Devian nobleman than to be discharged like that. Darian Arende. The Queen shakes her head. He was such a lovely child. His mother... Lady Solana was one of the most gracious people I have ever met. She was amiable, yet decorous, and truly kind. Isn't Darren uh, Asimov? So, does Queen Galfrey have angel blood in her family? Bonds of kinship among the nobility are on the whole highly practical and the only useful for forming alliances. But the Countess Arendae managed to become a true member of my family. I suppose that is why I, suppose that is why I spent so much time believing her son to be a better person than he actually was. This company is a heavy burden. Still, I must admit that I am quite pleased that you decided to keep him on as a companion. There's a small chance that once he has had a true taste of the crusade life, the Count will finally cease to mock the crusaders as cynically as he is wont to do. You've given an army to th and, the knight and the title of Knight Commander to a stranger. Why? Because for hundreds of years I have protected my lands. Trying to drive the demon hordes back into the abyss, such have tried every night, every right and rational method. The queen affords herself a brief, grim smirk. My armies have been led by the greatest generals, even Iomenes' angels. My goddess's herald created the ward stones for us. We have tasted victory more than once, but we have failed to close the world wound. As for you, do not call yourself a stranger. You are the savior of Canopus. Hundreds of its people saw the power that descended upon you and turned the demons to dust. It's a sign that they're, they've awaited for, for decades. It's a sign for all the loyal hearts and followers of Iomedae. The time has come. Hope has been rekindled in the hearts of my subjects, thanks to you. Hope is a priceless resource. I had no choice but to give it wings. Yeah, but I kind of like took Daskari's knife and stabbed it into the thing at the wardstone and sent all the demons back and all the angels back. You call it the sign we've been waiting for, but I take it you are reserving judgment? 
Your question seems to catch the queen off balance. A strange spark flares in her eyes. When Aaron Aridin perished and Amune took over his legacy, I was among the first to serve the new goddess. I helped restore her church from the ashes left by the chaos after Aridin's death. I saw, uh, since then, I have served the inheritor loyally and truthfully. I like to believe that I have earned the blessings of my goddess. The queen's voice is surprisingly ardent. After I learned of what happened in Canabras, when I met you at the Defender's Heart, I had so many questions. Is it true that what happened was Iomade's work? Why did she give the powers to someone unknown rather than one of her most loyal followers? Could it be that my faith has grown weak? And I don't recognize the deeds of my goddess even when they are happening right in front of me. Is the goddess somehow testing me? Those doubts were like poison. But I refuse to let them poison me. The queen finishes strongly. I give you an army and a clergy knight commander and accept you to you as I would anyone chosen by the goddess. I need more soldiers to take the dress. All the forces I could afford to spare are either in your army already or on their way. We could help call up volunteers, but if your headquarters sends out letters and appeals to the queen's in the queen's name, everyone will know that I came with you. Demons will not miss such an opportunity. Their hordes will advance and overwhelm us. No, that is not an option. Talk to Arabith. Let her handle volunteer recruitment. My name will remain hidden, much like my participation in the Crusades. I must go. I do what I must. Let's actually go talk to Arabeth. See if I think she wanted like seven K or something like that. What does she want? Seven and a half thousand. I don't have. Wait, don't I have more than that? Oh, I don't. Oh shit. All right, so I need to make like a thousand gold right now. That's 40 gold. That will not do it. Uh, well, yeah, let's sell those. Let's sell this. Wait, what? There you go. I'll cover it. That's just marching terror. Nobody cares about that thing. Pay seven and a half thousand gold coins. You have your orders. Consider it done. There you go. Alright. Well, let's, uh... Let's save real quick. And we'll head out. Everybody's nice and rested. I'm gone. Ah, uh, let's see... Sosol is good. I would like to start bringing Ember, though. Mm, maybe instead I'll bring Ember instead of that. Because at least Sosol has a lot of AoE healing, but I feel like Camilla's not that fantastic. Maybe we'll do this instead. Yeah, that might work. An angel can fall. Does that mean a demon can ascend? Eh. How the crusade's looking? Oh my god. Oh, we got some more armies now. Nice. Bro, look at this dude. Look at this dude. What the hell? What does that look like a, uh... <laughs> Why does that look like a dwarf face put on, like, chainmail? It looks so weird. Oh, nice. We got some clerics. I thought there was a way to split the armies. Ah, never mind that. I thought there was a way to split stacks. Let me see. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Options. 
What the hell's that fucking encyclopedia at? Hmm? You know what I'm gonna do? Hold on. I'm gonna combine these two armies. So, you go in there. Oh. Well, maybe I need to create a general for this army, though. Let's select this army. Send a general. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, he does look like that, doesn't he? She's got Scorching Ray. I don't think I can get... Oh, she's got Master of Maneuvers. Flare. No, that's not good. Master of Maneuvers seems really good to have. Defensive formation. I uh, saw heroism. I might take this Baroness Gunther chick. Although Master of Maneuvers. Yeah, so that would be perfect for, like, increasing the army size. Well, let's recruit her. There you go. I'm sure she'll be good. Although, sadly, we can't do anything with that army over there. But, what we could do is we could have army 2 head on out. And go into Army 1's, uh... Army. Army 1. Let's have you head back. Split. There you go. Can I rename this army too? Oh well. This dude's really powerful. Kill it, it's like that's the one. Why does it say Camilla is lightning encumbered? What? Uh, let's see. Where are we? On mm -hmm. um, our campsite, we went over there. What's. Wait, what's this? Reliable ripped out. Oh, we gotta go help the Hell Knights. Yeah, let's go do that. Nundrum Unsol. So that's the ancient Sarconian ruins, I think. Hmm. Now, you know what? We'll come back to that stuff. And what we'll do is... All characters are fatigued. Yeah, rest. Auto sign, yep, 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 yep. Hopefully this should be okay. Yep. Let's hope social You've carried such suffering around your whole life. I think if you world. opened your heart to a kind deity, you would feel better. Really? You think I'd feel better if I had to care about what a deity wants me to do? Would my pack be lighter if I carried a horse? No, it'd be heavier because you'd be carrying a horse. Cool. 
Didn't take much abyssal corruption. Probably gotta go this way. Yep. Let's go help out the Hell Knights. Oh, I see the Nameless Runes over there. The enemy fort blocks your path. God damn it. Come on, army. Let's go take that damn fort. Stay right here. I was gonna go for that. Shit. Damn, you can just go right through that, huh? Have enough units to block this guy. Yeah, just beat his ass. That's all we can do at this point. Quite a few of our little mutants are. What are these? Like conscripts or whatever from Windowog? Zero damage. Oh, it's a gargoyle. Wait, do I get to attack again? Yeah, fuck it. Wow, we replenished all of our lost forces. Crusade, mor Crusade morale. The morale stats reflect the general mood of the Crusades. Positive morale increases resource income and the number of troops available for recruitment, while negative morale decreases these numbers. 
Morale changes depending on the morale banners. While special conditions are met, the banner remains green and increases the morale by one per day. If the special conditions are not met, the banner returns to yellow for three days, but still increases morale by one per day. Then the banner turns red and decreases morale by three per day. Wow, that's shit. Your army is currently carrying two banners. The banner of victory stays green while you defeat demon armies. Each victory over demon army adds four days to the time of the banner of victory stays green. And the banner of the march on Dresden stays green while you defeat demon armies on the road to Dresden. Each victory over demon army on the road to Dresden adds ten days to the time that the banner of march to Dresden stays green. Each unit has its own combat morale, the starting value of which depends on the crusade morale. Various combat effects and spells can change the combat morale until the end of the battle. Positive combat morale grants you a chance to perform under certain actions the same turn. All units with negative combat morale have a chance to panic and lose their actions, or you can see. Undead units are, as well as some others, do not have combat morale, and thus are not affected by any effects that increase or decrease it. Interesting. Uh, so, do we take the fort? Oh god, there's level 3 demon iron here. That's a lot of dudes. Recruit some more guests. I don't know if we'll be able to take that demon arm out. Certainly try, though. Actually, you know what? I better come back here because these guys are going to rush. Are they just going to fight that? Yeah, I see him. Try this, uh, stab that dude. There you go. Now we need to kill that demon up there. Ow. Holy shit. damage. Can I attack twice if I don't move? No, I think that's only this two. Oh, fuck, he wiped out all of them. I lost all my, uh, 
scouts or whatever they're called. Those guys do a lot of damage though. Hitting in that line. You need to move back one. Now, oh, come on. Kill him. There you go. Five damage there, shield bearer. Oh man, we lost all the... Oh cool, we got some of them back, nice. I need some reinforcements on that army. After the battle, one of the soldiers notices a half an act of inscription on a nearby stone. Remains the engrave... engraving leather soldiers to... Oh, that stuff again. Okay. Ooh, energy plus three. Oh god, demon army level seven. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Back to the fort. Oh, we leveled up. Nice. Uh, Master Maneuvers 2 sounds pretty good. So that way we can have more to the army. Can get some clerics. You search for one new unit. Search. What the fuck? Does cleric cost two thousand. Well, I guess some more footmen are in order. What's the max I can get? 30? Yep. That'll do. Let's march these bad boys out. And for army number three, uh, let's go on a little crusade here. We got Demon Army 1, Demon Army 1. I didn't even see what the hell was in this army. We just got some... What the fuck? These look like normal dudes. Oh, shit. The hell? They look like just normal guys. Smite evil, lay on hands other, lay on hands self. Uh, Heroism. Target unit gains plus one. What are they? What are the stats? Light mace, two to seven. I mean, he might, might be good. Oh, that guy's shaking. Nice. Any 
There you go. Ow. Bonk. Okay, I'm gonna lay on hands sell. There you go. Run! Clerics are okay. Covered all our lost units. Nice. She's got ways to go until she levels up. Uh, another demon army over here. The fuck? It's just Zambies. Damn, these zombies hurt. Be healed. Innervated attack. Oh, he's losing pulse. Oh, fuck. Because that innervated attack, we're doing less damage to him now. Beat the fuck out of him. It's probably going to be like this for a few more turns.
So they gave these undead zombies the ability to stack negative levels on people. Oh, Jesus. And in this... Yeah, I'm doing zero damage to this guy now. Oh my god, we're gonna be here for 15 rounds. Uh. Ow. No, like, flanking bonus or anything. I move back here. There you go. At least they'll start hitting him. No, you you stay there. I just have you heal up too. Not not even reducing the damage you take. Zero damage. Whichever asshole dev decided, oh yeah, let's have the zombies put negative levels on your uh, units. Fuck you. Seriously. That was... Yeah, I only replenished four. That was horribly boring. My god. Oh, we got a crossbow? The crossbow of judgment! Plus two heavy crossbow has a critical range reduced to 20. Whenever it threatens a critical hit against an evil or chaotic creature, it is automatically confirmed. That's interesting. Actually, I guess that would be good for Ember. Yeah, that's really good for her. Alright, well... That's all my army movement for now. Let's go save those Hell Knights. <laughs> Can't stop thinking about the way the shield bearers look. It's literally the oh no no no. Look at the top of his head. Yes. Uh, you have a cat, don't you? Yes. We Me? should move. We should mount our horse. My goodness. All these pets now. We do it my way. Looks like the Hell Knights continue to fight the gargoyles, even from the air. They both fell to the rocks and perished. Oh, here's Yakker. Commander, come here quickly. Come 
On the mountain, you see a raided camp and two groups of warriors, one wearing white and yellow armor, the other in black. They are led by a tall man in white priest robes. Some of the warriors glance around fretfully, the weapons shaking in their hands. You hear the screams of gargoyles from above. The beasts are approaching the camp. Quickly, evacuate the wounded. The beasts are about to strike again. Use cloaks as stretchers. We've got to make it through. Paralictor, your people will have to cover us while... Two more minutes left out in the open, and neither you nor I will have any troops left to order about Crusader. But the wounded... Retreat to shelter. Well, yeah, the wounded aren't a problem anymore. If the man in white has anything further to add, his words are drowned out by the shrieks of gargoyles as they fall from the sky. Her lurcher will lead the unit to shelter. We need to get through to them. Push through to the cave. Oh my fucking god. You just got jumped by gargoyles. Alrighty. So, Wendug. 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 I haven't cleaned up her taskbar. So, Sacred Weapon. At first level, weapons wielded by a war priest are charged with the power of his faith. Mission of the favorite weapon of his deity, the war priest can designate a weapon as a sacred weapon by selecting that weapon with the weapon focus feat. If he has multiple weapon, weapon focus feats, this ability applies to all of them. Whenever the war priest hits with his sacred weapon, weapon damage is based on his level and not the weapon type. War priest can decide to use this weapon's base damage instead of the sacred weapon damage. This Increase in damage does not affect any other aspect of the weapon, and it doesn't apply to chemical alcohol. Oh, okay. Uh, well. Well. Will I take an attack if I do this? Is this a, this is a move action, too. There you go. This is a swift action. Oh, I have to touch somebody else with that. Okay, never mind. Um, point blank shot. Turn that on. Let's move that over there. That over there. That right there. Put that there for now. Uh, she's at plus nine. No match for me. Oh, these guys are weak to magic, huh? Oh shit, it's a good thing I brought Ember. DR10 magic. Oh shit, I have my bow out. Oops. We gotta get Ember out of here. Uh, Ember, please, for the love of God, run up here. Ow. Okay, good. She only took a little bit of damage there. Yeah, this is really helpful. Acrobatics. Move through a threatened square without provoking the attack for opportunity for anybody using acrobatics. Moving this way, you move at half speed. So it just eats up a lot of your movement. So, so, uh, hmm. Protection from evil? No, that won't help. I think we're gonna have to go with prayer. I don't think the wolf is going to be much help. What's this guy's CMD? Let's 
trip. Can this one trip failed? Oh, he's 20 CMD. And I roll a three. So I could do it. Okay. Well. Good old Wolchif here. We're going to have to... Scorching Ray, this son of a bitch. There you go. Alright, we're gonna Magic Fang. Uh, the Triceratops. And... Do I have my clones still? Yes, I do. I grant strength to... I don't know who. That was weird. Did it just use it on myself? Oh, it did. Okay, that'll be next turn. Let's fight defensively. And... Let's start swinging. Yes. That's the nice thing about Boon Weapon. Now, we only have two Smite Evils. Better save those. Don't hold back! Alrighty. And then for you... Oh, I know what we need to do. We need to... How much AC do these bastards have? 21 AC. Damn. You know what? I think I'd rather just nuke them, actually. There you go. Good old Sussel. Bless. Uh, let's try tripping this guy again. Failed again. I rolled a two again. I need to roll a, like, nine or higher, at least, because I have a 15 modifier to my CMB. Jesus. So he has Magic Fang, right? Yeah. Oh, well, he <laughs> misses anyways. Let's just hit this bastard. Ow! Oh, I need to cast, uh... Armor on him. What spells do I have here? Well, let's... I don't think, actually, I'll be able to damage this guy. 9 to 14. He's got DR 10. So most I'll be able to do is like 4 damage. But, we have inflict wounds. Maybe that'll do something. 8 damage? It's not bad. The light take you. Uh, I gave her a new mythic ability, Thundering Blows, so when she misses, she pretty much just does like an AoE Sonic fart, because she tends to miss a lot. I hit the wrong one, I meant to hit the other one. Or did I... Did I kill the other one, and then I hit that one after I killed him? Alright, anyways, Scorching Ray. Son of a bitch, Ember, come on. Uh, let's... Get Wolgif to heal. Alright, come on, doggy, trip him. I rolled a five this time. God fucking damn it. Critical miss. Alright. Uh, much HP. You don't have that much HP. Let's 
try just stabbing you. Right? There you go, that works. Well, that actually went pretty good. I've heard a lot of bad things about gargoyles, but I think we did alright. Follow if you dare. Especially since we got jumped and we're caught flat footed. Oh shit, what's our formation looking like here? Alright, no, 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 we can't have this. No, 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 no. Okay, so Ember in the back. Uh, horse next to me. Triceratops burrow right here. Wolf up here. We're gonna put you right here. Like that. Like so. And then we'll have Ember in the way back like that. Honestly, we'll put you over here. Kind of do it like this. Yeah, that works. That works. Just so we kind of get the pattern down here. Oh! Another gargoyle. And for some reason, Soul Soul's up front. Alright, well... Can't beat him. Fucking wreck him. No, 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 no. You know what? I want to reload this fight. Because they're completely, like, mismatched on positioning. I thought they would have fixed themselves. I wasn't paying attention. Alright. I'm so gone. Let's... We do it my way. No match for me. There you go. Uh, let's try tripping again. Didn't work. Oh, oh, that's right. This is the turn where we can't just get the setup. Oh, we got fireball? Ooh. Yeah, fuck the dog. Hey, reflex saved that anyways. He didn't take any damage. Oh, he reflex saved that too. Son of a bitch. Oh, they have ten reflex. Jesus. Gargoyles are cancer. Where is... My charge. Move on up. And then, uh, yep. Prayer. And Thonk will move you up to. Did you just get resisted? They have a spell resistance of 11. Jesus Christ. Uh, you know, we're gonna try with, uh, Windig here. Oh no, not that, no! We're gonna run her back, that's what we're gonna do! Alright, let's try another trip. What? What did it- wait, did it work? Bewildering injury. Target becomes a wilder, taking a mess. Wait, no, that was from, um... Did it not work? Since I rolled a 26... And they had a 22... Why is he not tripped? I don't understand. Uh... Yep, let's just charge right in there, though. Hold back. 
Nice. The weapon's fire. She should be able to... Yeah, do some damage. No, Funk. Let's get another prayer going. Is our purse still actually good? Our bless? Yeah, 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 it is. Yeah. I guess we'll just buff up. No, that only lasts for a minute. Here, touch of good. Window up. There you go. Get him, Thonk. Yeah, we're missed. That's fine. Oh. Yeah, I kept forgetting. Wolgif here has different debilitating injuries he can do. So, this is minus two to AC. This is minus two to attack rolls. And this one is... Hampered penalties that reduces speed. So yeah, I guess we'll just do the minus two AC. Well, yeah, let's try and kill this guy. Nice, good job. All right, and now what we're gonna do is actually swap to dual axes. Let's see what kind of damage we can do here. Nice. All right, how about try a bull rush, dog? How about that? And fails. I don't understand combat maneuvers. Push an opponent straight back without doing any of your combat maneuver is successful. Your target is pushed back by five feet. For every five by which your attack exceeds your opponent's, enemy being moved back does not for turn. So his CMD is twenty-four. Oh, I rolled a twenty-three. Run! Apparently, I can't hit this guy. I have to move. This will hurt. I don't. I don't understand. Don't hold back. Okay. Yeah, I get blasted in the face. Uh. Yeah, that'll do. Oof! Everybody took some damage there. No, Thonk! Into the fray. Is she only rolling... one attack now? Oh, it's because I took that that point in Oracle. So next level, she'll, she'll roll two attacks again. What's her basic attack bonus? Yeah, it's five. Okay. Uh, here. Get some heals. There you go, Thunk. Uh, you're almost dead. There you go. Now you're all the way dead. I'll rip you apart! You know, that would actually be pretty good. Except not against gargoyles. Yeah, okay, that, that dog is just... Strike. Gonna be like, bait damage. I don't know why I can't attack this dude. You should have run! Uh, here, take a grave touch. No? Okay. Mounts are buggy, man. Alright, I don't want to waste a spell on this guy. Just have Ember nail a... a okay. That works, too. The world has suffered enough. Here, heal Thonk for me, please. Madrid, Turinos. There you go. Follow if you dare. Feels a little cheesy having all these animal companions, but you know what? The game will throw like a bunch of dudes at me. Fuck it. No, Yak. Oh, I know Yakir's alive. I thought that was Yakir that was dead there. Ooh, a bastard sword. Got some full plate here too. Is that? Better than what uh, homegirl's wearing, Salem. Oh yeah, she's got full plate plus one.
Wait. Oh, yeah, that is Shaq. I'm off. The sight before you is a once macabre and picturesque, a lifeless couple, a man and a woman dressed in white and yellow priest robes, lie on the ground surrounded by the bodies of dead gargoyles. They are tangled in death. The claws of the monsters are tearing at the human's clothes, and the largest gargoyle's talon has pierced the man's chest and punctured his heart. But before they died, he or his companion defeated the enemy. Sunrise Sword Priestess, suddenly the woman opens her eyes. She doesn't look at you, but stares at the world woman's horrific red and black sky. Her pale lips open, and she exhales abruptly. The sun will never rise again, even the sky hears curse, and we along with it. Yakker, walking in front, steps over the man's body without looking, but turns around at the sound of the woman's voice. The Mendevian faithful break too easily. All people are easily broken. The knights in pale armor help each other through the horror, but the knights in black only break each other and everyone around them. Step over the wounded woman and walk away. Who are you? What happened? I'm a priestess of Arden Serenay from the Order of the Sunrise Sword. Next to me is Ashes Strager, the head of our order. A sorrowful pride sur surrounds in the woman's voice. He has led our forces on the raids to the world many times, but this campaign, the Gargoyles attacked a few nights ago. A vast number, and we've never seen anything like it. Ashes organized a resistance with great skill, but while the monsters were distracting our fighters, a small group of them raided the camp and took our supplies. We were left without food and water in the middle of the world wound, where it is nearly impossible to find provisions. We shared the last crumbs of our supplies and set off, set off back the way we came. Everyone was suffering from hunger and thirst. We grew weak and could barely fight back when the gargoyles struck a second time. They snatched many of us away. I saw the pain on Ash's face as he counted the losses, but he managed to rally us. We continued our trek and soon came across the traces of a recent battle, and someone had destroyed a troop of demon worshippers. In our des desperation, we decided to follow the strangers to warn them of the gargoyles and seek their help, having uh, no idea that they were Hell Knights, but we received only scorn. Every gulp of water in my unit is accounted for, they said. They spared us two flasks and a sack of dried bread. They said we were allowed to keep the sack to use as bandages. Two flasks between all of us. A sack for bandages. Hell Knights. Sila curls her fists, almost grunting through her clenched teeth. I'd rather ally with flesh-eating poisonous wyvern. That's right. What are allies if you can't use them? Take their resources, send them off to die instead of you. This isn't all what I meant. No, that isn't all what I meant. Really? What did you mean? Nothing to say? I thought not. Don't expect any goodness from those black tin cans. If you meet them, count yourself lucky if you don't end up nailed to the nearest fence post. Uh, what happened after that? The gargoyles attacked. Despite how the Hell Knight Paralector had treated us, Ashes endeavored to help them and had us carry their wounded. But that monster had them slaughtered. <laughs> Ashes was beside himself. It's difficult to conceive of such evil. He told our people to go with the Hell Knights to find shelter while he stayed to cover our retreat. Loman exhaled softly. He was a strong cleric, but as he treated our wounded, he neglected himself and he paid for it. What terrible injustice, but alas, all too common. Those who care for others often perish first. Uh... Honestly... I'll help her, fuck it. There. Woman pushes you away with a reek gesture. Spend your efforts on someone who can be helped. Leave me, my crusade is over. Your commander can't be helped, but you're so alive. Allow me to help you and come with us. Woman looks at you wistfully. Why? So many deaths, so many sacrifices. Such bravery, all for what? No, I will not go with you, stranger. My commander and I will die by what we live for. Compassion, nobility. I don't want to keep fighting for a world that bows to such laws. May the goddess forgive me. Farewell. Woman closes her eyes, exhausted. I'm sorry these good people treated you this way. If you don't have the strength to go any further, rest. We will continue your crusade, I promise you. You're going to leave her? I thought you would convince her to get up and fight to the end. Not her. She cannot. She won't get up. She has already died inside. Not from the gargoyle's claws, but from the wounds those good knights made in her heart. Soon she will die completely. You and I will remember her, won't we? And we will fight for her as well. Yes, yes, Ember. I promise. Commander... I'm not one to advise you, but we're wasting time on this fool, and the gargoyles will soon be back. That's their usual tactics. Fly up for group, attack again. I'm going back to my unit now, and I advise you not to stay here long. Well, fuck. I tried helping her, and the bitch refused my help. I thought I could recruit her or something. Climate shit's good, though. 
Okay, now we need to reload that. Yeah, I'll just trample all over her. Fuck it. I'm just gonna stay lawful and evil. If it, if I can't do something lawful, I'll do something evil. I think I gotta fight those damn gargoyles again. Oh wait, no. Now they're done. That's what I get for trying to be nice, you know? I'm gone. Yada yada yada, who are you, what happened? Yada yada yada. What happened after that? Yada yada yada. Step over the woman and walk away. Let's hurry, the gargoyles will return at any moment. And nobody have anything to say about that. Okay, I was a little worried my allies would be like, How dare you, you monster! Because I have a couple of, like, you know, pal I have a paladin and a cleric with me. They kind of hit these, but, oh, Jesus. Uh... Here, let's just hit this. And how long do we have bus for? Oh yeah, plenty of time. We won't fall here. I swear it. Uh, here. Sweet, we'll save. Hell yeah. Here, thonk. Uh, what other... Is that all the spells I have? Yeah, I guess so. Sila. Does she still have her boon weapon? Oh, yeah. Right, let's the send her in there and get some good use out of that. I believe I still have shield, yeah? Plenty of time. DC 18. Wonder if I can make these bad boys afraid. Well, wait, what's their will? Four. Their will is a four. What the hell did I roll? Oh no, he failed it. Okay, good. I was gonna say. Alright, thonk, get in there. Thonk! Yeah, misses. That's perfect. Uh, oh damn, we can't get another prayer. Or another bless. Uh, what does this do? Bit of luck. Hmm. Oh yeah, we have these. Oh, I was supposed to make something. Oh, he completely failed that. He's he's running. All right, Whistler. Let's um. Yeah, let's go trip somebody. Oh my god, Whistler's not gonna do anything. Uh... There we go. Ooh, you know what would be nice, actually? <laughs> my dumbass casted a uh, Resist Energy Communal. That'd be nice. Oof. Alright, when do you get... I'll rip you apart! Here, let's lay on hands myself. And, uh... Let's whack the this dude. Take you. Nice. Dude in the back. He's got 11 will. Oh my goodness. Let's have a these guys down. Uh, let's finish this guy off. Don't hold back. There we go. Donk. 
That's a thought for you. All right. Yeah. Let's let's do another. Let's go here and assist fire. Oh, is somebody back? Stupid wolf. And since we're resisting fire, that means we can just chuck fireballs! Here. Well, Jeff, take this guy out back and have sex with him. Cover me, alright? Okay, that's not as much damage as I thought you would do. Uh, oh man, that guy has such a high will save. That's just a shake in them too. I think. I think I should just attack. How do I cancel? There you go, that works. Yeah. No match for me. Yes. I would have really loved it if I was fighting some other enemies that were a little bit weaker to physical attacks, but this will do. The inheritor, guide my blade. Nice. Here, let's wreck this guy, Wolgif. Come on, Thonk. Yeah, buddy. Alright, now for some healing. Because I did most of my most of that damage to myself. Ow. Get him, Whistler. Oh god, man. Whistler's really ineffective right now. How much spell res you got, homie? Tend to fire. Acid pull like Whistler. Wow. That dude sucks. What's your will save? It's pretty high. AC 19. Are you mean to sleep? Surrender or else. Just poison, actually. Well, what the hell? Why not? Let's try and put you to sleep. Oh my God, it works. Stab you or zap you. Why not both? Holy shit! There's more of them. All right, I'm gonna need to change to that. And that's what we're doing there. Alright, Sayla needs you to. Where the hell is my charge at? Here, I'm gonna throw this over here. Leave these aside, because I need to fix this. Other. But I'm gonna need you to charge back here, probably. Nope, that's too far for you. Well, actually, Windua could probably handle that. We need to have Sela. Sela, I mean. Why can't I? I guess that guy's not in combat yet. Yet I could charge him. Yeah, seems bugged. All right. These guys have Bite, Claw, and Gore, and they have enough attack for two Claws. That's kind of crazy. You son of Damn, look at that. Wasn't that beautiful? I have a Gore attack. What's Resident Sleeper, Alexi? Oh, hold on, give me a second. <laughs> Sorry, I got a phone call. Oh, the gargoyle? Yeah. <laughs> I thought you meant this fight was going on a little too slow. Uh, let's see if I can hit everybody. There you go. Oh, Whistler. If only you actually did something. Oh, 
Uh, you know what? We can... Damn, he succeeded his will save. What did he roll? He rolls a nat 20. I fucking hate this game, dude. Alright, well, Jeff, I need you to run over here. And you're gonna finish this guy off next turn. We can just take these off. That over here. That over here. I just need to make some room. Put that down. Yeah, we'll... Oh yeah, these. I forget about these. But we'll, we'll finish this guy off next turn. Oh, they can still make attacks of opportunities if you have a throwing axe in their face? That's interesting. I thought it would be like a melee attack or something. I guess I played too much Diablo. Uh, yeah, let's just hit this guy. Wait, this is another hunter. Into the fray. Nice. This will hurt. Don't hold back. Holy shit! Crit for sixty. Was that a nat twenty? What did I roll? Oh, uh, yep. I did roll a nat twenty on that attack. Nice. Very nice. Blessed. Here, go help out, Falk. Ah, uh, nothing's missed on that magical attack. Still have bless. Yeah, we still have bless. Um, here, have a bit of luck, Ember. All right, how about you try tripping him, huh? What'd you roll this time? A seven. Wait, so my attack result was 21. I rolled a 7. The target CMD was 20. So he's tripped? Oh, they're immune to prone. I'm fucking stupid. That I was wondering, because I'm like, I could have swore this succeeded at one time. They're immune to prone. Jesus Christ. Here, I have a little... Ember Flambe there. Alright. Yeah, that resident sleeper. Goodbye. Yeah! Can't you just die already? Okay, our Wolgif just does shit damage. They'll beg me to stop. Huh? Well, good job, Wolgif. To get her a melee weapon. Uh, yeah, everybody's actually pretty good. Uh, a bit of luck. Amber again. This dude's got like ten fire resistance. Yeah. But you know what? Let's nuke him down anyways. Actually, we'll make him vulnerable first. Cool. Does vulnerable curse... Any energy resistance or energy immunities on the target are suppressed. Rules, the will save reduces this to one round and failed it. So, now he's hexed for 36 seconds. Ooh, that's nice. And he's flat-footed, too. Distract them for me. Ow. Uh... Here. I kind of wish I got her a horse. The Inheritor, guide my blade! You Let's just... Run. whack him. Uh, here, have some healing. Uh, 
Ah, oh, there you go. Give him Magic Fang. He'll do a little bit of damage. Um, so if this guy's got no more energy resistance because his shit's suppressed... He's still got high spell resistance, though. If Ember's not rolling high. So she she succeeded in her, her attack to hit. But then she rolled a fucking 18. Wow, she only has an 8? You get her some uh, fire focus. Time to share your or invocation focus, I mean. I'll rip you apart! Into the fray! Bonk. This will hurt! Oh, for crying out loud, just kill him. Go on, go on. There you go, Fonk. Thank you. Uh, let's heal Sailor real quick. Everybody else should be fine. Yep, yep, yep. My god, being mounted is so OP right now, early game. I hope it doesn't fall off later. We got here. Even after the attack, tents of the Hell Knights camp are lined up neatly, looking like they're ready for a parade. Ooh. It's good to know those Hell Knights are uh, good at decor. A whole lot of loot here. Some bodies. A wolf is looting this corpse. Half fiend gargoyle cleric, huh? Want to loot that? There you go. This game is a little buggy when it comes to mounts. I swear to God. It's just breastplate armor. Yep, yep, yep. I looted this guy. Pick that lock, Wolchif. This is my kind of work. Ooh. Got some hide barding. I don't think anybody can wear that yet, actually. I think they only have uh, light barding right now. Yeah. I don't have medium barding, and... He should get it. Soon. Yeah, he gets medium barding in a couple levels. It's kind of funny because <clears throat> I don't have any armor for Whistler yet, and he doesn't get it because I made him a uh, bully. <laughs> Honestly, bullies kind of shit way. for animals. Nature DC 17. Oh my lord, nobody's gonna pass this. Anything for you? Oh well. When do I? Wendy pulls through. Follow if you dare. Based spider cat waifu. So there's a cave here. I do what I must. Is that all there is? I guess everybody ran to the cave. All right. I'm gone. I'm gone. Get in the cave. Come on. Water saved. Good. We do it my way. Night Commander, I presume. Your glory precedes you. I am Regil de Reg, Heralictor of the Order of the God Claw, contemporary officer of the Joint Unit of Hell Knights and the Order of the Sunrise Sword. You and your people should take positions. The gargoyles are regrouping. 
We expect they will attempt to break through in five to six minutes. We need to get rid of the gargoyles, then we'll talk. Agreed. Be ready, Commander. This attack may be worse than the last one. They were great against our resolve. Well, it's not good that Ember's up there. Jesus. Did I cast this on myself? Is this just natural attacks? Yeah. Wait, so what if I use Sacred Weapon? Will that maybe make things a little bit better for dealing damage? I don't have a focus weapon yet. Alright, so thumb. <laughs> no, no, no. Look at his face. Oh god, can we please get Ember out of there before everybody rushes in? Oh Jesus. Oh my word, Ember, run. Continue oh fuck. Fighting everyone. I would like to reload that because positioning wise, that was shit. Kind of awkward because I know that um, I know that Ember's going to be in the back and we're walking down here. But I will just put my character right here. Put Thunk right here. Sigla right here. Let me help. Sosol can go back here. I'm the best. Windowak can go back here. The dog can go right here. That's fine. Something wrong. Old Jif can go right fine. here. Don't activate the NPC. Thank you. And then we will send Ember up ahead. Night Commander, I presume. Agreed. There we go. That works better. I'm okay with that. Oh no, smite good on my paladin. Bruh. Alright, I just need to cast this on the, on the pets, pretty much, so they can do some damage to these guys. Uh, gonna. Which ability do these assholes have? They have a lot of reflex. I don't think I'll be able to do much. It's some good old grease. But hey, you know what? Let's just start chucking magic missiles. Or, you know, just get spell resisted, because Wolgif doesn't have any DC or. Anything else for that nature right now? Hey, one damage. Do we need bless? We need bless. I'm gonna need shield too, yeah. Riggle's moving up to slap some shit. No, Yanker, don't do it. Uh. Hmm. Let's smite this guy. Into the fray. I am happy I gave her that move. That is a good move. Is she miss? Because all she does is miss. Oh, that guy, that's the guy that got spiked. Alright. 
right, so this fireball... I don't know, they have high reflex. Mm, 46 fire. Yeah, fuck it. Nine damage? Not that good. Wow, you actually managed to hit Seal, huh? Ow! No, not my horse! No! Random guy! Is that damn wolf out? I can't get close enough to buff it. Well. Alright, well, Jeff, just don't fuck it up. Go on, go on. <laughs> it's been a running theme with Wolf lately. Alright, yeah, let's. Heal up my horse. Now you. Wow. Critically miss. Uh, I think I'll lay on hands for myself. Actually, I think I'll smite this jackass too. The inheritor, guide there you go. My Uh, let's just try a fireball. Yeah, figured they would reflect that. I somehow didn't hit the other ones. Oh, he's beating up my horse. There you go, Thonk. What's the will save on these guys? Seven? Might be able to do something with this. Fucking A, their spell resistance is hot. Modifier is one. Oh, yeah, because it's class based. Oops. Uh, well, we get in there, stabby stabby. No, okay, let's try a little. Let's try some sleep. Are they immune to sleep? No, they're not. Let's try it. Said result success. Well, two of them. Are these guys immune to sleep? This immunity is poison. Is the game basically just going LOL, gargoyles can't sleep? What the fuck? They have destruction and hard wiring, blasphemy, and holy aura? Immune to trip, immune to poison, airborne, earth subtype. Well, I'm glad they're not using hard wiring, blasting, and destruction. That would absolutely wreck me. Immunities. Poison. Effects and conditions prone. Yeah, well, why ain't you asleep? Let's just... I can heal the damn horse from here. There you go. Strike! These, uh, these cargoes up front are just kind of built different. Take you. They're a little bit tougher, but they're not tough enough to take down my team. Because I have all my tanks up front. Uh, well, I think what we'll do... Hold on, where's, where's Cackle at? Cackle. 
Any creature that's infected on the effects of an evil eye, hex fortune, or protective or harvest fortune. So not vulnerability curse though. Uh, oh, you know what? Fuck it. He did zero damage to him. This this gargoyle is at one HP. Somebody shoot him, please. Well, he tried. Oh, horse! No, he took a crit. Oh my God! Bonk took a crit too. All right, now is your time to shine, Windwalk. Can I? Now nah, we'll just we'll just try two throws. No, beg me to stop. And you missed. Shot window. Uh, well, I guess we can try this. Yeah, two damage. So these gargoyles are weak to magic, but they're very magic resistant. Uh, let's just use this. There you go. That'll help out. Secrets. You should have run. There we go. Huh. Oh my god. Oh. Well. Oh shit. No, Yanker, don't do it. Oh, we got more of them back here. Holy shit. Into the fray. Get in there, Sela. Is her bond weapon so long? No. Okay, Ember, we're gonna move you over here. And we're gonna start putting gargoyles to sleep. That's a lot, Jesus Christ. Get in there, Thonk. Tie him up good. Those poor bastards. Uh, here, now I can give... There you go. Stab you. There you go. Good job, Wolchuk. Alright, get in there, Whistler. Well, A for effort, I guess. Maybe this will work on them? Yep, some of them got Banes. This will hurt! This will hurt! Uh, let's... Head over for that one. Which one's going next? That one. I'm gonna delay. When's the next turn? I'm gonna delay after they all move. There we go. At least they're all crowding over here. Let's go take Don't care of this hold one. Back. Uh, um. Okay, game. That's cool. Thank you. Appreciate it, game. There you go. I didn't really care about casting that. Wait. Does she not have Holy Sword then, or is it on her sword? Okay. Yeah, it's Holy Knot. That's good.
So it should help out with her damage. Alright, at least Ember is safe over here. Uh, dude in the back. We'll save 11. 7, 7, 7. How about... This dude. No. I don't even know who died up there. It was like some sunrise guys and I think one... Oh man, Thonk, I... Don't know what to do with you, man. Let's swap to the double axis. Stabby stabby anybody? Let's get some mirror image going so we can get in melee. Whoever thought this design for this fight was a good idea, the fact that all of your allies that you have with you do absolutely dick all. I didn't mean to move that wolf, that was a mistake. Uh well. Let's do that, since we fucked over my attack last time. It's not that I think this is difficult, I just think it's kind of ridiculous. It's like, oh yeah, we'll have this uh, encounter where, you know, gargoyles that are extremely physical resistant towards stuff and oh yeah that holy sword spell was good and uh you know all of your allies that are here with you will also be entirely physical so it's a little awkward for me oh Thonk! Thonk. Uh, well, let's try it. I'll rip you apart! Yeah, these are not a good enemy to be showcasing that for her. Them for me. Really? Jesus Christ, what's your critical miss? So it's got the magic fang, right? Yep. So, so. There you go. Bit of luck. I think that only lasts for one round. You should have run. This will hurt. Don't hold back. What? Strike! Can I attack? All right. Go on, go on. Super bucky. I don't understand. The light take you. Yeah! Oh, there you go. Somebody got a crit. That was probably a net twenty. No, we don't want to do that. Uh. So we tried it against all these guys. Ah, we could try it against the dude in the back. What's the DC on this? 17? Maybe he'll roll low? So when the fuck would that ever happen? Oh, he has a, he has a wisdom bonus. Class bonus 8? Oh my god. He actually beat it by one. Any day, Thon. Any day. No match for me. Time to share your treasures. There you go. At least we'll just doing some damage now. And I don't know why I'm 
Hey, Whistler actually got a hit. While we're here, I'm going to finish this guy off next turn. Into the fray. Uh, hmm. Let's try and do a vulnerability curse. Succeeded. Damn it. Get him, Thonk. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I I should probably turn off a lot of her attacks. Jesus. Cover me, all right. All right. So. Nothing for Whistler. Uh, here, have another luck bonus. No? Can't do that. Alright, here, have another. No? Okay. Do I still have Touch of Luck? No? Uh... I'm really not sure then. Let's pass our turn. I think that killed somebody. There you go. That's how you coup de gras. Wolgif, take notes. Oh my fucking god. What? You've got to be kidding me. Who the fuck in the right mind designed this fight? Go like maybe right here. Cool, one of them CC. Yeah, imagine it. it's dude. Seriously. Did she just fuck up? Yeah, she did. Alright, uh, just finish him off, old shit. Stab you or zap you. Why not both? A little bit of luck. All right. I can't tell if he killed somebody else or not. You should have run. Oh my god, so so get out of my fucking way. That's the second time that's happened. Yacker, all the stooges are dying. You're not careful, you're gonna be next. What? What the fuck is this? Are we supposed to lose this fight? Ah, huh? why did I move over there? I'm convinced we're supposed to lose this fight now. Alright, I'm just gonna let it ride. Yeah, this high cleric is super high level. Oh, 
Bulge if died, that's great. Holy shit. Oh no, I got knocked down. <laughs> Horse will be okay. Yo, me and Rogel ain't going down. Yeah, me too, homie. Okay, never mind. I guess you're not supposed to lose that fight. That is stupid. That is beyond stupid. What is this? Who designed this shit? I'm on core difficulty. This isn't unfair or anything. Why the hell am I getting bombarded by, like, gargoyles from every single corner? They come from here. And they come from here. That's fine. I don't care about that. But then they come from here and here again? What the fuck is that? One of them was like level 14. I'm only level 6. Anyways, it's getting late. I need to go get something to eat. Uh, <laughs> that'll be the end of the stream for now. Uh, I will continue this later. I'm a little tilted. Um, but yeah. Thank you for watching. Appreciate everybody for checking out. Especially, uh, good old Laxer, buddy. Um, this will be uploaded to the YouTube channel if you want to check out the VOD, if you want to catch up to it. Uh, if not, uh, then the Twitch VOD will be up for a couple days, I guess. I don't know. Uh, anyways, have a good day, good evening, and we'll see you next time. Hopefully tomorrow. Take it easy. What the hell was that shit? My god. <laughs>